Hi there, this is Stephen Cooper, and I have an exciting new pre-release of the Harnmaster Game System plugin for Foundry Virtual Tabletop. Uh, the creator has asked me to test this out before it makes it out to uh, the before he releases it for the general public. There are a lot of changes in here. What I've tested so far looks really solid. I'm going ahead. I'm making this uh, video to show the new combat system, which has uh, added a lot of automation and a lot of really nice features. So let's get started. Uh, what I've done is I've set the screen up here a little bit differently from my last video. I've got two browsers. Uh, over here is player one, who's controlling the uh, character called Alpha. And over in here on the right, I've got player two logged in, uh, who is controlling the character Beta. Uh, these guys are going to go ahead and, and have at it in a little forest clearing. Uh, what we need to do is we need to do a, a little one-time setup. Uh, I've cleared the macro bars down here at the bottom. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to go into the character sheet. We're, uh, and that was just a double click. I'm going to go to the combat. I'm going to grab the broadsword and I'm going to drag it down here. Uh, you'll now be prompted for whether you want to do, you know, what type of macro you want to do. These three are the old way of doing the macros. They're still available, still supported. Uh, in here is the enhanced attack macro. Go ahead and click on that. And I'm going to go in for player two and I'm going to do the exact same thing. Uh, he's got a broadsword and a spear. I'm going to take the spear and he's going to be attacking with the spear. You want to do the enhanced attack macros. Uh, we can now close these character sheets because the automation is going to uh, take care of that for us, a lot of that for us. All right. So, um, now this guy's targeting himself. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and get a co uh, combat started. I've got a, yet another screen over here with the GM. I'm not showing that, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start combat and begin combat. All right. This is a little plug-in I've got, uh, which really clearly indicates whose turn it is. It's kind of nice. It's called uh, a turn marker. Um, right there, it says turn marker. Uh, so we've got uh, Alpha is his, it's his turn. Let's go ahead and start an attack. Uh, just going to click on the macro here for attack. And it says, you must have one selected target. Okay. What this is doing now is it's taking advantage of the Harn or the virtual, uh, the, the Foundry virtual tabletop's ability for targeting. So instead of using this in order to select a token, we're going to use this to select our targets. We're going to go over here and we're going to select beta. All right. As long as that, uh, as long as beta is targeted, uh, then all your attacks are going to be hitting beta. So now let's go ahead and try this broadsword attack. Now we've got a, a proper prompt. Edged, mid, boom. Okay, we get some sound effects, cool sound effects. You can turn those off if you don't like them. Uh, they're in the game settings uh, for the Game Master. Uh, but I think they're kind of cool. Uh, we've got the broadsword melee attack. And the attacker only has this. The defender over here has all of that information, but also has the option to uh, respond. Notice no dice have been rolled yet. So now I'm going to go ahead and have this guy, he's going to block. He's going to block with his round shield. Hit OK. Now the dice get rolled. And we see here. Great. We've got defender gains tactical advantage. We now have, so let's go over the summary first. Uh, it was an attack with a broadsword. Here's the AML. Here's the roll. It was a failure. Uh, the defender was blocking with a shield. Uh, rolled a marginal success. The defender gains a tactical advantage. So now, without it have you know, you'll see here the turn marker. It's still Alpha's turn, but now Beta can actually initiate a DTA attack. And again, you must have one selected target. You can select it with here or Foundry Virtual Tabletop, you can du double right click. So I'm just going to double right click to show the alternate way of selecting a target. Boom. He's now there. Now I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to initiate a DTA attack. I'm going to attack with the spear and hit OK. 
It's a piercing, mid, mo zero modifier, attack. Okay. So, how is Alpha going to respond to uh, this count, uh, this uh, DTA attack? Well, he's going to go ahead and he's going to block it uh, with his round shield. Okay. And I happened to press it a couple too many times there, so I'm just going to close that one. All right. The attacker blocked. Okay. Now it is the next round of combat. So now it's Beta's actual turn. He had the uh, Defender Tactical Advantage attack. Now he's going to get to attack again. He's going to go ahead and attack with his spear. Uh, piercing. Boom. Uh, Be uh, Alpha over here has the option to block. He's going to go ahead and block with his round shield. Boom. Dice are rolled. That's the attacker dice. There's the defender dice. And defender gains tactical advantage again. And so it goes back and forth like that. Boom, 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 boom. A lot of automation. Uh, let's see if we can get an injury in here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, he's going to attack with a broadsword. Uh, he's going to have an additional modifier. I want to get an injury in of 40. Uh, and he's going to ignore it over here. I want that injury. There we go. So marginal success. We're doing 19 damage. We're going to calculate the injury here. Uh, got a kill shot. Uh, roll of 5d6 versus endurance. Not a shock roll to determine if killed. If not killed, all right, let's pretend he made his... his, uh, his <laughs> Good luck. Yeah, we'll need it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do the shock roll. Boom. Uh, and he failed it. Now, the nice thing is, uh, if you haven't seen the previous video, these are these injuries are actually recorded uh, in here. we got a skull gash, aspect edge. Yeah, that was a G5. So those get recorded in there, and they do impact your health and all the things that you would expect it to be impacting. Um, uh, over here, you see now his, even though he has a 10 of strength, uh, his, his effective strength is 4 because of all of his, because of his injury. So, thank you very much. Very excited for this new combat system. Hope you are too.